Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2016. I'm with Brian from Red Rock Micro. Now you've been uh, not reinventing the wheel, but reinventing the motor. Uh, it's true. So we uh, have been hard at work. Uh, last year, as you know, we showed Halo. It was an incredibly successful thing. Um, We've been working on that concept and a lot of things that go along with it. So um, we wanted to sort of showcase our new um, Atlas motors. Um, these are brand new uh, generation of motors. What's really cool about them, number one, is it's completely self-contained. So there's no base station, there's no head. This is the entire thing. It's about six ounces or so. Um, and uh, in addition to uh, radio, it has uh, Wi-Fi built into it. So not only does this allow us to give you a free app that you can actually use to control it, but everything that we're, not only the motors, but what we're going to show you here can be uh, configured and run through this app. So you no longer need to use a, a remote follow focus unit. You can do it actually off your phone. You can do it off your phone. And it, what, the way we think about it is it's an inexpensive way to control motors. Now, is that going to be the answer for everybody? Of course not. There's limitations to Wi-Fi. Um, so it also has built into it the long range radio that we have, have used and everyone expects. But the really nice thing is now you have a couple different options on how to go about that. So in addition to being um, completely self-contained, these are now daisy chainable. So we can see here, I've got a focus and iris system. Um, in a moment, we'll talk about our finger wheel, but we have um, the ability to control both of these in a, in a fizz type of configuration. If I had to zoom, you can actually uh, go ahead and just kind of notch through the different channels here just by pushing the button. Oops. Um, in addition, one of the things that we've done, you see there's a lot of lighting going on here. These are all color coded to tell you the status of things. So for example, when I press the, uh, the record button, you can see everything lights up uh, red. These are all totally configurable through the app, so you can dim them, you can turn them off, you can change the colors, you can change the status, so maybe you want a battery indicator as opposed to the run stop and so forth. So it's a really nice way to have these um, pulling together. Um, in addition to this, um, I know you guys are really excited about Atlas. Um, I'm sorry, about uh, Halo last year. Yeah, so what, what actually happened to Halo? It's been, so it's you still, changed it. It still exists. Um, the, the, the notion of the um, kind of the spinning uh, laser that tracks everything through artificial intelligence, everyone loved it, we loved it, we're still working on it. The sense of urgency we got in talking to customers is look, I'm a sort of a solo operator. What I really need right now is I don't really have somebody who's going to control this for me. Like, is there anything you can do for me that is for myself? So we took the exact same technology, the LiDAR-based beam, and we put it into what's called Halo Solo. This is the first production version. This is not the replacement to Halo. This is just the solo operator version of Halo. So you see a lot of the same information. Um, what's really nice about this system is we really focused on size, obviously, and we focused on weight and not just the pieces themselves, but how they interoperate. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and take this motor, and I have um, a cable here that I'm just gonna plug directly in. This is actually uh, powered by an LPE6. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug that in. And it turns out, you can see that this is powered up. This can literally be my entire focus tracking system for solo operators. So what's really great is that we can actually share a lot of the resources like power and like control and have it be um, something that's just going to work on pretty much any type of uh, rig, whether it's super small or super big. Okay, so when's uh, when's this expected to, to ship, or is it still very much sort of uh, prototype so stage? It's, it's well beyond prototype stage. You know, this is, this is, like I said, it's all the same technology that we showed last year, just in a slightly different configuration for a slightly different purpose. We're taking pre-orders now. It's shipping in summer. Um, the Halo unit itself is about 1200 Our Atlas motors are $1,000 a channel. And again, depending on which channels uh, that you want to use. Um, there's two other things we want to show you. As I mentioned, we have a navigator grip. So people are familiar with our finger wheel. Now we have basically a fizz version of our finger wheel. And then there's now a control panel on the front. We have three presets. Um, the first one will allow you to actually control the zoom. Uh, so we have a joystick that's configurable. The third preset is a built-in gimbal. Um, pan and tilt and we have a nice little roll trim so if you are using either a DJI or a free fly it will work in that regard. The second one is actually this other product we have called the Orbit which is a monitor gimbal. It's an active monitor gimbal so it's motorized and I'm, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have uh, Omar give you a quick demonstration of this. He's over here. Omar you want to just come over here a quick sec and what he's going to do is show this thing as you move it uh, down the monitor is actually going to point at you regardless of what uh, height you're at. And again, you can configure the speed and, and some other things. So in the idea of being a solo operator, this is a great way to make sure that you have actually extended range of that gimbal, whether you're just shooting really low or moving high and so forth. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, all these products are aimed at the solo operator, which is, you know, good to see because not everyone out there has access to larger crews and the ability for someone to pull focus for them and all that sort of thing. Right. So 
these tools are clearly geared for solo operators, small crew, but they're also very relevant in larger crews. You know, you talk to a, a Movi operator and you show them the ability to have the monitor facing at all times and it's just, it's a huge deal for them. So yes, we have a finger wheel. Yes, these are all geared for solo operators, but again, you turn on the wireless, you're ready to go for a team uh, type of environment. Thanks, Brian. My pleasure. Thank you for coming by.